Hello guys, it's Chris Dev here. In this video, I will show you how you can get NuGet package DLLs into your Unity project. Also, I have got a new microphone, so you can now safely turn up the volume of the video and I won't damage your ears anymore, I promise. A prerequisite for the video, you would need either Visual Studio or Rider. It doesn't matter really, it works with both IDEs, I have tested it. For the video, I will be using Visual Studio. For an example project, I will be using the Unity project from my last video, where we built a chat application using SignalR. If you don't remember, or you haven't watched the video, which I strongly encourage you to watch it, we had to download some DLLs and put them here in the plugins folder, in order for us to use SignalR. All of these DLLs depend on each other, and if even one is missing, I cannot use SignalR, and for the purpose of the video, I will delete all of these DLLs and show you how you can get them back again, including all of their DLL dependencies in the correct version and in the easiest way possible. So let's move on to deleting them. Now that Unity is screaming at me with errors for the missing DLLs, let's see how we can get them back. We should first talk about the possible solutions for us. If I open my Unity project using my script editor, Visual Studio or Rider, and from there try to use the NuGet package manager to, to get those missing DLLs back, yeah, it would work. But the next time I reload my Unity project, it would automatically uh, remove any previous configuration that I have made, like importing a DLL, and basically the DLLs would get removed and I would be in the same situation as now. So this is not really a solution for us. A possible solution for us is to go to nuget.org and search for the nuget package that we need. And then download it. After we have downloaded the nuget package and extracted the files, we can open this folder and inside we can see all of the different versions of the DLL that we need and depending on the API compatibility level of our Unity project, we have to choose which version of the DLL we have to take. If you remember, I deleted a lot of DLLs from my Unity project. I mean, all of them. And after downloading this NuGet package, I only got this DLL, without any of its DLL dependencies. Taking the right version of the DLL and putting it into the Unity project would work but I would have to do that for every DLL dependency because this DLL may depend on two other DLLs. Those two other DLLs may depend on other DLLs. And I would have to download each DLL individually, search for the right version, and then put it into Unity. So this turns out to be not the best solution for us. Let's move on to the easiest way we can solve this problem. But before we move on, if you like that type of content and you want to see more, I would very much appreciate it if you like the video and subscribe as it would help the channel a lot. Thank you. The first thing we want to do is open Visual Studio or Writer. Now press on create a new project. We type in here class library. And we can see that we have different versions of class libraries. We have .NET Framework and .NET Standard. Depending on the API compatibility level of our Unity project, we have to choose one of those two. So let's go to our project, go to edit, project settings, scroll down, and we can see that for this project, the API compatibility level is .NET standard 2.1. It could be .NET framework. Now that we know that, we open Visual Studio and we select the .NET standard class library and press next. We press again next. In here, Make sure what version of the .NET standard your Unity project is using. Mine is using 2.1. Press create. Now that the class library is created, we need to open the NuGet package manager. We click on browse. We type in signalr.client and we select this package. We select the class library. We press install. And now you can see that it's trying to install all of the DLL dependencies that this package has. We press OK. 
we accept the terms without reading them. Now that this is done, we close the NuGet package manager, we press the right button over the class library, we select open in terminal, and in here, we type in .NET publish. We press enter. Now we right click on the class library again, we select open folder in file explorer, we open bin, debug, net standard, and then publish. In here, I should have all of the DLLs that I have just imported in my class library, but with Visual Studio, for some reason, it doesn't work. It's not the same case with Rider. In order to fix this, we open again the class library and we try to run it. It would throw an exception, but it would fix it. Now, I open again the terminal. Type in .NET Publish. If you're wondering what does the .NET Publish command do, it publishes the application and its dependencies to a folder for deployment to a hosting system. Now we open again the class library in the file explorer, go to the publish folder, and inside we can find all of the DLLs that we imported for our project in here. And those DLLs contain all of their DLL dependencies and in the right version as well. Now we take those DLLs, excluding the first three files here, we drag and drop them into the plugins folder in our Unity project. Now that we have put the SignalR related DLLs in the plugins folder, we can see that the errors from before are gone. Now we can see that Unity is complaining about something else. In the beginning of the video, I accidentally deleted the DLL that is not related to SignalR at all. And now that Unity cannot find this DLL, it complains. Let's take the name of this DLL, go back to Visual Studio, open again the NuGet package manager, in browse we type in the name of the DLL, it is this NuGet package, we select our library and install it. This is the DLL and we can see that it does not have any other dependency. Now we publish again our class library, type in .NET publish, we open again the class library in the file explorer, go to the publish folder, and in here we can see that now we have this new DLL, so what we're going to do, we're going to drag and drop it into Unity. Now we can see that all of the errors are gone and that all of the DLLs that we deleted in the beginning of the video are now back in our plugins folder. That's all I had for you today guys, I hope you liked the video, you can like and subscribe for more content, see you soon!